The first step is to run Geopack and open your drainage project. Then use the report builder to create reports for the different types of elements. You can include all of the available data for each element type, then set the number of decimal places and the delimiter to generate the reports. The second step is to combine those reports into a single Excel spreadsheet. I've got tabs for each report type here. You can see all of the data types that came from the Geopack drainage reports. The third step is to use Model Builder to read that Excel data and map it to our drainage and utilities properties. This will honor all of the properties, apply the feature definitions, do everything it needs to to build the drainage model for you. Once that's complete, if we select a node, for example, and we look at its drainage properties, you can see that we've mapped that it's a catch basin. So we've set up the inlet properties. We've mapped the structure type and the length and the width, various other properties here. We've also mapped across the baseline feature and offset and the elevation reference that all came from the imported Geopack drainage data. Finally, we could reference in the Geopack drainage DGN. And we can see that we've got good correlation between the data in the two applications.